And now, here's your host of Shaping Success, Wes Tankersley. Well, hopefully the live stream is working. I just got back from Arizona. It's great to see you guys. Uh, this is Shaping Success with Wes Tankersley. If you have not checked out the show yet, you should. Head on over to uh, Shaping Success with Wes Tankersley on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to get notifications. You can hang out on the YouTube and get in the chat. Um, basically, we talk a little bit about daily life and situations and things like that and how I deal with the things that I'm going through, and hopefully they will help you to uh, find a way. So uh, good morning, Nikki. YouTube is streamed. looks like it is going good. If you guys want to go ahead over there, um, there is. We'll see what happens because my computer takes a little bit of while to fire up. What is up, Michelle? Good to see you. Um, I just got back from Arizona yesterday. And I'll tell you what, I haven't traveled enough, apparently. I haven't figured that whole situation out. And it always is an interesting uh, situation for me and my family. Because I got a two-year-old and I got a 10-year-old. My 10-year-old acts more like a, a nine-year-old or a, like a seven-year-old. It's kind of funny. Um, doesn't want to help with anything. Doesn't want to carry the bags. And it's kind of difficult to make all that stuff happen. So... And then my two-year-old, of course, he can't really do a whole lot of stuff. So it was the first time he actually had to buy a plane ticket or we had to buy a plane ticket for him. We hadn't been, um, we hadn't traveled with him a ton. He's traveled with my wife to her mom's house down in California a couple of times. Um, but other than that, like it's, it's just a, it's a new thing for him. So he actually sat next to me uh, yesterday. It was kind of nice on the flight home. It was only like a two hour flight from Boise to Arizona or to uh, Phoenix. Um, but he slept pretty much the whole time yesterday. So that was kind of nice because he starts out, you know, you could tell he was tired and he started screaming a little bit and it was interesting, but we had purchased, uh, Oh, I don't know. It'd been a year ago, year and a half ago, we had purchased trip to Hawaii and we were going to go and then something happened with my job and we just couldn't afford to do it. So we cashed everything in, but we had these four plane tickets that we had to use. And if we did not use them, we would lose them. So we decided to go to Arizona. We had stayed in this hotel before as a nice pool. We knew we wanted to go to spring training, which is um, where the Giants play in Scottsdale. So we stayed in Scottsdale. And I started to get a little bit of clarity on a lot of things. Uh, it, it's interesting how life is ever changing. I'm sorry right now. I just want to let you guys know that the computer is firing up over here. So I can't see. I can see half of me. But um because you take four days off, I come in in the studio and the, and the computer is not working the way that it's supposed to be. So anyway, I'll get to those comments if you're making them as soon as I see them. So anyway, we arrived on Friday in, in Phoenix. And we got there. I stepped off the plane and it was funny because the weather was just as bad in Phoenix as it was in Boise. We're thinking we're going to Phoenix to go escape this third winter and ended up, you know, in the middle of uh, a rainstorm in Phoenix, Arizona. We go to go stay in the pool. We can't really go to the pool as soon as we get there because we couldn't check in until about three o'clock when we got there, it was raining. And we went to go have, um, there we go. We got the comments back. What's going on? We went to go we went to go have dinner with my friend Jay. If you guys haven't watched One Drink Wednesday or follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. Head on over to at west.tankersley on Instagram. Give me a follow and you'll get to watch that. You can also go to at one drink Wednesday. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Apologize. Um but anyway, we went to go have dinner with him, and uh, we had to go to Tempe because we couldn't find... It's funny, I told Jay, I go, well, it's Friday night, and we're in, we're in Phoenix. Hopefully, it's not like Boise. We can find a place to go to dinner. And he lives in Gilbert, and he tried to find a place over to, uh, over to uh, near us. And so, but that's like a 45-minute drive for him, and he was just trying to be nice and convenient. So... We ended up in Tempe because, as I thought, as I envisioned it, um, they didn't have anything until uh, 8 or um, like 5. And we had just had lunch, I don't know, at like 2 o'clock. So we're like, no, we're not going to go at 5, but we don't need to go at 8. 
or I mean, I'm sorry, it was a four and we're not going to go at four. So we needed to have some time, make some room, you know? So anyway, we ended up finding a place, but we had to drive a little bit, which what I found about Phoenix, which is crazy is that no matter where you go, and Jay's always said this to me, you have to drive. Very cool about uh, going to Scotland, Michelle. That's awesome. I want to go there one day for sure. Um, but yeah, so anyway, anywhere in the Phoenix area, it's like that you go is like a half hour, 45 minutes drive. And it's funny because like in Boise, I stuck something in my GPS and it's like, it's 15 miles away. It's 15 minutes to get there typically. So um, that was just kind of funny because with that being said, you go 15 minutes in Phoenix is 30. <laughs> so no matter where you went, it's a half hour. And that's what he said. It was just kind of funny because they're laid out differently. Then here, like if you come to Boise, a lot of people are like, what the hell is wrong with this, with the traffic system? Well, they laid it out and it was really small and it got really big, really fast. And then they just kept adding to it. So there's no like you go to Phoenix and there's this grid. Like if you're flying in, you look and you see like a grid. So they have the streets go this way or north, north and south or north and south and east and west. And you can actually like just drive straight down the line. It'll take you a while to get there. But here, everything is just kind of cattywampus. What a word. Um, so it's just kind of weird because like you, you can go to one point to the other and it's just kind of a squiggly line. Um, anyway. So we got there. We had dinner. We hung out a little bit. My wife got to meet Jay. I've been friends with Jay for a very long time. If you guys, like I said, go follow him on One Drink Wednesday, you'll see. And uh, it was funny because my son was really, he's starting to get to the point where he's really busy. He's really moving all the time. He's starting to talk. We can start to understand him um, because we, we were having a hard time understanding him. What's going on, Jen? Jen says, good evening, all the way from Ozland, because it is freaking four o'clock in the morning here, five o'clock in the morning here. Um, she's getting ready for bed. So anyway, um, went to this place called culinary dropout. It was really good. And then, uh, after that we went home and we went to bed, we rented this hotel room. Do you rent a hotel room? I feel like we rent it. Anyway, we stayed in this hotel and we had been in it before. Like I said, it had a really nice pool. We had gone with my brother-in-law and he basically the time we went in Thanksgiving I think it was like four years ago he had rented two sides of this thing so there's you know you got the door in between and one side has a kitchenette with like a stove and everything and the other side has a kitchenette with just a microwave and a dishwasher but it has all the stuff to do like cooking and everything in it and you're like why in the hell does it have half the stuff here but you don't have the other half there so we we were thinking oh we'll get the big we would get the other side and we ended up with the smaller side. And I don't know if that's because we checked in early because we wanted to get there early and that was the only thing that had clean if we were supposed to get the other side, but we didn't. So it was a little chaotic because we ended up having, there's a couch bed in one section of it. It has like a dining table in it. And then the other section has a queen bed and then it has one bathroom that you share with everyone. And when we had stayed at the other one, it had a bigger like living room with like a bar and the kitchen, the actual kitchen. So we ended up in the wrong side of this thing. Needless to say, next time we go, we are not going to be staying in that place other than the pool being really nice. Um, it was, it, it just didn't fit our needs because my son ended up sleeping in the bed with us and he is not a good sleeper. Um, so it's kind of funny. Like he's feet are in our face and he's rolling around all night. And it just, it was just an interesting situation, but we had a good time. You know, my daughter was sleeping on the couch bed, which when it came out, like you could only go, like you had a door that went out of the bedroom and you had a door that went out of the bathroom and you could only go out the bathroom door to get to the kitchen area. And then you wake everyone up when you're trying to get up. Like she wants to sleep in. I'm up early, as you know, trying to make coffee, trying to get, get ready for the day. And it just was an interesting deal. First area my grandparents took me was Camelback Mountain in Arizona. I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> How old were you? My daughter would not appreciate it. It's funny. Um, we learn, you learn a lot of things like how annoying you can be in those real close quarters. We get back to our house and it was nice. It was like Nolan's running around the house because he has a place to roam and now he's not in this tiny little area. 
but oh, 12. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And my daughter doesn't like hiking at all. So like we were going to go on a hike and she's anything that has to do with exercise. She hates it. And we're going to have to change that because those are other things that I learned. Any snores. Yes. My wife is a snorer and my son kind of snores a little bit too. Um, I can deal with my wife because you know, I have for 24 years and that's okay. Having two in the bed is crazy. And plus the bed was like, a, the other thing that was really weird about this place is it's a Sheridan. Nice place. But like, they didn't have fitted sheets on the bed. I, I don't snore, no. They had like, they took the, you know how the, you buy a pack of sheets and it's got the fitted sheet and it's got the top sheet? Like they use the top sheet to go on the bed. I'm like, why? I like, after the first time I thought they forgot about it, but the second time was like, they came in and they cleaned the room and it, like, it didn't have a fitted sheet on it. So it was really weird. Um, and I don't remember that the first time that I stayed there, but they didn't have fitted sheets on it. It was just kind of weird. Um, so anyway, we did that. Some really cool things. I started to think about a lot of things that were happening in my life and how I haven't taken enough time. And this is something that I really think that I have to work on. I need to spend more time with my family. We need to take more trips. We need to do more things together. But it was fun because... One of the main reasons I went down there was to go watch the Giants in spring training because it, that's where spring training happens. You go down there, there is within 20 minutes of everything, there's a tons of baseball parks because the MLB like West, um, not the West, the National League is over in Arizona, which is really cool. And then the American League is over in Florida, which one day once we get done going to Arizona, I think it'd be really cool to go check out the, they call it the Grapefruit League. And then uh, the Giants are in the Cactus League. So, which is in Arizona. And so it was cool. We got to go to the game. We sat down. One thing we figured out, I, I purchased the tickets probably about two, a month ago. And when I bought them, the game time was 2.05. Well, we're in mountain time, and I don't know what, what happened because the time changed in Arizona, but it, or well, it changed here, but it doesn't change in Arizona. So when I purchased the tickets, it said that the game was at 2.05. I didn't really look at the time until right before the game, and it turns out, I'm like, we're going to be there an hour early because I want to go check out the stadium, walk around, do some stuff, kind of show the kids around. But what happened was I realized that they didn't switch the time on the tickets and the game started at 105, not 205. So luckily we were there early enough that we were able to catch the game from the beginning. We got there just in time. We got to our seats. We sat down really nice seats and then we were able to watch the game and trying to keep a two year old busy during a game where he's got to sit still forever was very interesting, but it was cool to see him clapping and doing all those things. We ended up getting some souvenirs. We all got a hat and then, when we walked in the gate, they're like, hey, you know, um, this is the day that you get to run the bases. And they're like, if you want to take your kids down and run the bases with at the end of the game, you can do that. And so I got to actually go down, which I mean, it meant more to me probably to run the bases, even though I wasn't the kid that was going to get to do it um, uh, to run the bases. And I got to actually run the bases at Scottsdale Stadium, this place where all these baseball grades have played that um you know i watched growing up so it was kind of cool to get to do that i had got to hold his hand we touched every base all the way around and uh fun stuff so i also got a picture with uh lucille they did the kids got a picture with lucille he's the the uh mascot for the giants so pretty cool for them we walked in they also said hey you know is this your first time here you can go get a certificate. So the kids got a certificate saying they came to their first spring training game at Scottsdale Stadium. So pretty cool stuff. What is up, Lindsay? How you doing? A little recap on my trip to uh, Arizona. And then, so we did that. And then we hung out at the pool after the game. Um, did we hang out at the pool after the game? Maybe we didn't. We were all too tired. I, th I don't think we did. So then the next morning we went to the pool. I had this plan after I went out to dinner. I was going to go over to Jay's house. If you guys haven't listened to Hard Parking Podcast, you should go check it out. Um, it's pretty much everywhere you can listen to podcasts. But I went over to Jay's house and recorded in his studio. And if you went to my Instagram, you can see I posted a picture of that. After we got done, we went over and had a, had a drink over at uh, this place called Bourbon and Beasts, or Beast of, Beast of Bourbon, um, which I got in trouble for because I didn't get home quick enough. 
And then there's a lightning storm. So the idea was after I got done recording this podcast, I'd go back over to the, to the uh, hotel and then we'd go back down to the pool because the kids would be done napping. And there's a lightning storm. It's like they closed the pool because of lightning. So it was, it was just so weird. There was all these things going on. Nothing really went the way that it was supposed to um, other than the game. I mean, and it didn't even go the way that it was supposed to. And then we spent yesterday, the majority of the day, in the airport because we didn't quite know how long it was going to take. I had been warned by Jan Drew, another friend of mine, has been on the podcast that traffic is terrible at that time. Our flight left at 11.05 from what I understood. And then right before we get ready to leave, we realized that the flight left at 12.50 so, or 11.50. So we ended up now, we're like, well, traffic's going to be crazy. We get there and we're about two hours early. And I don't know. It's interesting. I think that we just have to learn to travel a little bit better and work a little bit harder at doing a um, like an itinerary so we know exactly what's going on. And that's kind of a little recap of my trip to Arizona. It was a good time. Um, I feel refreshed. I feel ready to, you know, I don't know if you're ever ready to go to work, but I'm ready to go. This morning, I've got to travel quite a bit getting back, you know. I started out, I had one appointment in McCall, which is about two hours away from where we live, up in the mountains. And, um, yeah, this is too early, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki says, I get to the airport really early. Like, I, yeah, we were, this was too early. Um, but I'm driving up to McCall today, and I thought I had one appointment up there, ended up having three. So, Christine works today. It's drop off the kids and then run as fast as I can up, the, not run as fast as I can drive up there and just kind of make a loop and come back down. So we'll see how it goes. Um, got to make those sales, got to get things going. Had a couple sales happen yesterday. One thing with being a salesman is like, you can never really turn it off because if you turn it off, you don't get paid, especially when you're hundred percent commission. So I've been working through that and doing that. Um, but I had a couple sales yesterday, even though I wasn't working. So I hope that you guys are off to an awesome start of your week. Um, I got the computer turned back on, which is great. Uh, we shall be live tomorrow with Robert Watson uh, talking about um, Ars Victorious. I haven't looked at the chapter yet. I'll have to check that out. I always read the chapter the morning before so that we can go through it. But the book is out. So go over to Amazon and check it out. We'll put the link in there. Um, he sent me the book. Really good book about life. If you guys are into reading motivational stuff, go check it out. It, it's uh, There's been a lot of really good things through it. And we're going through the maxims right now. The book's only about 250 pages. He's got a gear out there. You can get his shirts and stuff like that. You follow him on TikTok. Um, get the book on. It's on Amazon right now. I know that. He's got. I should be. I ordered a shirt from him the other day. He should have. Uh, couple of copies of books coming too so i'm gonna have it's nice he's gonna give me one that's signed that i can put in here in the studio um but uh yeah it's kind of what went on pretty awesome um go check it out and that's what i got for you tomorrow robert watson again and we'll try and get through the week here until next time i challenge you to find a shape of your success